is the cocoa butter cashmere soup that I made this week. Um, I think I made it on Friday, no, Saturday, and today is Tuesday. So, or so maybe I made it Sunday, I can't remember. I'll have to look and see. Here it is in all of its glory. We're gonna unmold it first. And to do that, we take this little jewel thing out right here. Turn it up on its side and it just falls right out. I love this mold for that very reason. And you just pull. I love it. It's so pretty. Oh, I love it. Okay. Get it the rest of the way out of the mold. Look how swirly it is. I'm so excited. Oh, you know, there's a thing I wanted to do. Oh. I have got to grab my scale. I'll be right back. I'm going to put some wax paper over my scale. Woohoo! 216 ounces. So, 13 pounds and 8.6 ounces. Nice. Okay. Next. The next thing we have to do is slice it up into loaves. And I need to tighten my little thing up here. And for some reason, it's not working. There we go. Now I got it going the right way. So I loosen this up when I'm not using it so my string doesn't have tension. My, it's actually a guitar string. And I don't want it to have tension on it all the time so I loosen it um, when there is no soap being cut. I saw somebody do a cool trick the other day. And they put down a piece of parchment paper, which is what this is that I use to put the soap on. On this, I'm guessing so it would slide better, but it was really a nifty thing to do, and I'm going to do it. And again, I need to measure and make sure I'm cutting the correct side of this. I need to cut the side that is 10 inches and not the side that is two and a half. So I need to slice this way. Okay. Here we go with the cutting. Well, that looks super cool, but we have got some, something I don't know what it is. There are, there are black specks in my soap. Hmm. That will take some, look how pretty it is. That's gonna take some inspecting to see exactly what's going on with that. 
very strange indeed. Next loaf. Well, that absolutely had to be something in the color. It's, that is so weird. It's kind of cool. I'm not mad about it. I really like that. I love this design on the inside. The soft yellow mica that I turn that I use actually has kind of a almost greenish tinge to it on the inside, but on the outside of the soap, it's still very yellow. I'll show you. So you see this looks almost tan on the inside. This is the same color on the outside and it looks yellow. It's weird. Very strange indeed. Color morphing is weird. Okay. Now. Let's slice this up into bars. Done with this. Done with this. Keep my ruler handy. This whole thing down here. I'm just going to double check my whip on myself. Make sure I have it right. I wanted about an inch and a quarter, and that seems to be correct. Okay. On with the cutting. I'm going to give my hands a little wipe because I have a lot of mica on them. Okay, that's better. We'll start with this one. But you can see, it's a total color change. Yellow, green. Yellow, green. Very strange indeed. Okay. Now let's see what this looks like. Ooh. I love it. Yes, I do. Very, very swirly. And this was the in the pot swirl. I wonder if this color will change back once the air hits it. Because just really weird that it did that. You can also kind of see there's going to be some discoloration in the bar, hopefully not too much, um, but it does have vanilla in the fragrance hole, and that will cause discoloration. But lots of the best fragrance oils have vanilla. 
and you just have to deal with it. This is, uh, I think I'll go ahead and cut that. So on the end, we got a little sample piece, skinny mini. This is the other edge bar. I think go ahead and cut that. This is the, where the soap was on the edge of the mold in this too, and then this is what it looks like in the middle. If you see any shapes in the soap, you will have to comment and tell me what you see. I've seen a couple of crazy things, so I'm gonna keep my mouth shut and see if anybody else sees what I see. Probably not. And again, we got a little skinny mini sample at the other end. All right, we're gonna do these middle pieces next. That's where it was on the mold. That's kind of wild looking. And then you can see the top. I know the lighting's not very good in here and I don't have any auxiliary lights. So maybe you can see that. So this piece will have a good top to show with lots of gold. That's that 24 karat gold from the Chemistry Connection that I love so much. Just giving you a chance to find some something cool. <laughs> I made a bunch of wax melt testers Sunday and 
I don't like the formula of wax that I use. So I'm going to try, I ordered another sample of a different kind to mix in and see if I can make something I like better. It's a little too soft. throws the fragrance really good. That's the mold edge. Okay, that looks semi like a dolphin, kind of. Last chop. This is the little skinny mini sample piece. That's the mold edge. Last bar. All right. Thanks for watching. Have a great night.